multinational Division South, Emron built up the base. A chaplain provides support and an all-girl band rocks Basra. They're known by their red caps, but these airmen aren't baseball players. They're members of the Red Horse Squadron, and together, they can pull off any job you've got. Electricians, we have plumbers, carpenters, uh, heavy equipment operators, power production, HVAC technicians, services technicians, uh, vehicle maintainers. The team has built a brigade headquarters, Band Hall, and will soon take on a chapel built with a volunteer force. We're now bringing this base up. This base has seen quite a bit of neglect. There wasn't all the facilities that we needed. We're stepping in and building these facilities so the U.S. forces have a good place to work out of so we can make Iraq a better place. Chaplains are in place to provide guidance and comfort to soldiers. When those chaplains need someone to talk to, they turn to Chaplain Rick Rittmaster. Part of what I do is, uh, is to become a chaplain to the chaplains, provide pastoral care for them. Chaplain Rittmaster says the job of a chaplain can be lonely, even though most of their time is spent around people. When he's not counseling soldiers, he's leading seminars and relaxation exercises for his comrades. Chaplains are human beings, you know, and they need a break too. <laughs> the performers of Banshee rocked out for service members in Basra. The tribute band wowed the crowd with cover songs and said the concert was their way to serve their country. From Basra, Iraq, I'm Staff Sergeant Jeremy Patterson. Thank you for joining us.